What is up YouTube? Welcome in to the very first episode of my brand new show. I'm going to do every week called The Flip. This is episode one. And on this show, I'm going to simply show you guys the items that I sell every day. I'm going to just take a little quick snippet of me with the item before I go and pack it up and send it out. I'm going to show you guys how much profit I made on these items, where I sold these items, and a little bit of insight into this business. You know, this is probably 20% of my uh, business and what I do, but it's probably one of the most fun things that I do. The, the thrill and the hunt of buying an item for a low price and selling it for more and making that profit is amazing. So you guys can expect every single week a brand new episode of this show where I will show you guys all different types of items throughout the year. Shoes, jackets, globes, video games, all these different types of things that I sell and flip. And I will break down pretty much everything about the item for you guys. The show will come out every single week. And I'm going to do like little vi mini video chops every single day of the product as I sell it. So uh, during the episodes, I'm going to have different shirts on, different everything about me because I'm going to shoot different videos throughout the week. So... I just sold my very first flip piece of 2020. Today is January 2nd. I sold a pair of Curry Fives on GOAT for a $144 cut. I believe I paid about $65 for these. So after GOAT takes their little fee, I'm going to make probably about, um, probably about $75. Five dollars profit on these. Uh, I will do the actual numbers probably later or put them just up on the screen somewhere. But let me show you guys the shoes. So right here, these are the Curry that I just sold on Go. This is what they look like. They're called the Curry 5 International Smokes. Very neat bottoms here. Cool looking shoe. Um, I had a good feeling about this shoe when I bought it. Back at Under Armour, I sold this shoe on GOAT for $144 cut. I paid about $65 for them. Hey guys, today's Friday and I just got two more flips for this week. These are some pretty unique flips today. Let me show you. So first, I sold this freaking Paddington plush that I've had since the very first time I ever went sourcing. I'm serious, guys. I've had this thing for almost a year, dude. Check this boy out, Paddington dog, Yep. Sold him a Mercari for like $11. I'm gonna make like $5 and some change. I paid like a buck for it. So this is $4 and something profit. You know, it's okay, I'm glad to sell it. And my last sale on the resale side today is this pair of Adidas um, Alpha Bounces. So these boys right here, they got gum bottoms. I sold these on Poshmark. I got a $55 cut on them and I think I paid about $29 for these shoes. So these are about $25, $26 profit, which is pretty solid. Um, it's not usual that I sell something in Mercari and Poshmark on the flip side with no eBay sales, but that's how today went. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning now and I just got my very first flip on eBay this year. I sold a long sleeve orange Nike swoosh shirt. Long sleeve Nike that's brand new with tags all day long. I got this thing at Ross for $9.99 I believe and I sold it for $23.50. So with shipping and seller fees it's probably going to be about $6 profit but on a $10 piece you know it's a 60% return on your money. I highly recommend if you're at yard sales or retail stores and you can get brand new Nike for cheap, I would get it. Speak of the devil, guys. Literally, while I was recording that last video about that flip, I got to sell on eBay. I just sold Jimmy Butler, Minnesota Timberwolf, freaking short sleeve Nike, brand new. Got it for $10 at Ross. Sold it for $33. So this piece is probably going to be about um, $14 profit. I mean, it happens that quick sometimes, guys. Uh, so yeah, I sold this Jimmy Butler Wolves gear. For some reason, guys, old NBA gear, even if that player doesn't play for that team anymore, it still sells. And it still sells well if it's brand new. 
What's up everybody? It's Sunday now. I'm about to go watch this Vikings vs. Saints game, but I'm going to show you all two new flips that I have gotten. I uh, got one of them today and one of them yesterday. Very unique products again. This week has really been a tale of selling products that I didn't think I was going to sell for a while on random places that I don't usually sell stuff on. So let's get started with the first one. So I sold this one yesterday on an app called Bonanza that I rarely ever sell anything on. I have my stuff on there, but I usually don't sell them there much. And this is the piece that I've had since one of the very first times I ever went sourcing. I've had this thing for damn near a year. It literally has dust all over it. And I still have the Goodwill tag on it for $2.99, guys. Like, <laughs> you know, like I've had this thing for a while. I got three of these at the Goodwill. They're all brand new. I still have two left. Um, I paid $2.99 for it, obviously, as you could see, about a year ago, and I sold it for $30 plus eight shipping. So I'm probably going to make about $25 profit on this. I don't even really know what this is. It's like a wine glass thing. I don't know, though. Uh, glad I sold it. And this flip right here I got this morning on Sunday on eBay. Let me give you guys a tip real quick if y'all want to get into flipping. Employee shirts sell well now it's got to be for like a big company it's got like i flipped at&t employee shirts i flipped walmart employee shirts i flipped amazon employee shirts and now i flipped a target employee shirt this one was great because it was target and it was champion brand and champion's a good brand employee shirts really sell if it's a big company because there's always going to be somebody across the country who needs a shirt for work and they don't feel like asking somebody at their actual job so they just buy it online like this guy i'm sure did um they sell, and they sell pretty fast. I've only had this thing for probably two or three weeks. I got $24 for it and $3.99 for shipping. So $27.99 for this. I think I paid, I, I may have paid three or five dollars for this at Goodwill, but it was less than five dollars for sure. Um, this is probably gonna be at least $15 profit. Look at this, pretty sick, right? Target, you know what I mean? And I got the champion on the inside. Um, really good condition. Employee shirts, guys, don't pass on because you think they're too niche or too unique. They're not. They're perfect items to flip for good money. You could get $20 plus for employee shirts. All right, guys, and just like that, this week is over. Thank you so much for tuning in to the very first episode of The Flip. I am just about to edit the video right now. If you're still watching this, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to leave my total numbers as far as gross income and profit like right here in the video for the week. Um, pretty slow week for me, but sometimes that happens. I think it's kind of the Christmas cool down after the super busy holiday season. You know, January, February are usually the slowest months of the year, but I'm so glad that you guys tuned in. I look forward to seeing you next week right here on The Flip. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching.